Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a 100% coconut oil soap uh, for the oil portion and for the liquid portion I'm going to use organic aloe vera juice. So it's a simple recipe but I love a coconut oil soap. Uh, you super fat 20% so that it's not drying, lathers like a dream even in salt water which is cool for people that live by the ocean or love to be on the ocean. This bar is good for you. Uh, for my fragrance today from Crafter's Choice, I'm using it's called the Olive Branch. Um, I just thought it smelled like it would go with this soap. I wanted to do an ocean themed soap. I have these beautiful blue micas that I'm going to use today and um, I was going through my fragrances and this one stood out to me so that's why I chose it. Uh, I have four different colors that I'm going to put in this, that I hope to put in this soap. One is uh, Stormy Blue Mica from Brambleberry. And that is just gorgeous. It's like a gray, stormy seas. The other one here is Proud Peacock from Nurture Soap. And it's kind of a, almost an aqua-y blue, beautiful. I am going to be using from Brambleberry Ultramarine Blue Pigment. Nice bright blue. And then also uh, from Nurture Soap, I have Dark Navy Blue. And I'll probably put just a touch of titanium dioxide in the um, soap batter that I don't turn to blue and I want it to be really swirly and just oceany looking. So that's the plan for today. I've got my oils cooled off. I've got my, my oils, single oil, coconut oil cooled off. I've got my lye solution cooled off. I'm going to grab my safety gear, my gloves on and my goggles and we will come back and make some coconut oil soap. If you're enjoying my videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. I'm also on Instagram if you want more up-to-date uh, soaping inspiration and pictures. You can follow me there too. So what I'm going to do to my coconut oil here is add my dry additives, which is organic colloidal oats and white kale and clay. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And I'm also going to go ahead and add my fragrance to the pot here. And we'll get that buzzed in before we add our aloe vera um, lye solution. There we go. Oh, my cord got all kinked up. There we go. Pardon the noise. And now that my additives are all blended in, I'm going to go ahead and pour in my aloe vera juice lye solution and I did put some Tussa silk fibers in here just to give it a soft silky feel and I'm gonna just blend this a little and see how we do see if it behaves well <laughs> set my stick blender out and go ahead and start pouring off my different containers here for my colors there we go and I'm just kind of eyeballing I'm not sure how much of each I want but we will just take it and see there we go alright now to my big bucket here, I'm going to add a little titanium dioxide that I have dispersed in some water. And let's do, I'm going to do my stormy blue mica in this container here. And our beautiful proud peacock in this one. I love this color. My spoon doesn't fit down in here. There we go. Love that color blue. <laughs> I am a fan. All right, we'll do our ultramarine over here. And last but not least, our dark navy blue.
Well, I was gonna texture the top, but I like the top of this so much, I'm just gonna spray it off with rubbing alcohol and leave it. I really like the swirls. I'm not gonna mess with them. I'm gonna cover this up, let it go through gel phase tonight, and we will come back for the cut tomorrow. And it's the next day that we're gonna unmold our soap. It smells really good. I have to be honest, I wasn't necessarily a fan of this fragrance when I opened it out of the bottle, but it's smelling really good in this soap. I'm hoping it cures nice. I don't know. It was okay. It's not bad, but it wasn't one of my favorites. But I do like it today, so we will see after this bar cures how we come out on the other end. So, let's see. And I didn't use any sodium lactate because this is 100% coconut oil. It should be pretty hard. I'm hoping I can do this without knocking off the corners. Oh, yay. Look at that. Love it when that happens. 